scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. God is going to visit you. Look at me. You will be great ladies. I want to pray for you. The hand of God will come mightily upon you. Thank you, Father. Use them for your glory right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let their families be mighty. Let their lives be mighty. I separate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle, for sickness. Let me see your hands. Please let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you are outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. No. Welfare. Please. Please don't come out wondering will God heal me? Will God touch me? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship team, just lead us powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, He can move the mind. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesus. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the way. Oh, 
blood sister. This thing has made me angry. This is my blood sister. Blood of my blood, bone of my bones. That devil is a bastard this night. This is my own blood sister. Same father, same mother. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my sister, this is my mother's baby. Bone of her bone, flesh of her flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sickness. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her. Forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sickness type for go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I do not fall sick, my sister will not fall sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection. Everything wrong with you be healed now. Hallelujah. Sorry I took it personal. The thing pained me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. He never Hallelujah. Please, if you are holding a picture, just lift it up and we'll pray on it. Lift it up and we'll pray on it. Praise God. If you are holding someone's picture, just lift it up. We'll have the time when we'll pray on pictures. Hallelujah. As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind of the spirit Now the heart beat of heaven Let us hear Let it roll Let it roll Open the
eyes will see no other name
Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you specifically. You can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. You may have it come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, Miracles Everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it for yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them and tell them this is it.
Give Jesus a shout of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up. Just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me the intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafiketale Brasso Pratelia Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell, the fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Oshas, please take note. Mark Repon, Shiketa Viron, Vendele, Arababa Bandaya, Riano Robo Bela Gala Bosana, Riatapon, Rate Ketelia, Bakiton, Shiketa Piratose, 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidegon Rapidon Zepregila Lingon Rapigata Chakraton Rebaloske Maliro Koto Paralana Bacate Gosu Paragale Bosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of egos. The Bible is the amount of good wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Don't you wings of ego. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people blessed one ha blessed one for those people my God let the hand of God come upon you rando koshi pratila let the hand of God come upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you or shall help me find those people the hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto parikabo liberosi ilaraba hastu pirati landa bakiato shikse subra nende man shakila bongele. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si pretile brendo prati kado branira dinazingo si pretila ha. Help me find that guy and that lady outside I spoke about. Bariro su pretila dando rosike to branira kata diraranando sin radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly. Just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah 
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on request. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spirit over 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 this request to hope by our Satalaba. We can't see that the Galabado Shitaba. We push it and we do Shitaba. Let the miracles that are the bracket I say. Let us be breakthrough back as it. Let the impossible become possible. We can't pass the Shitaba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Shitaba. Let doors open. Let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a Oh, my inner man, sit by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power. Let the enemies submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the love of Jesus. Let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus. Let them there will be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles. Let it happen now. Miracles. Let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let that which is impossible with no become possible now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you very God. Blessed be the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus. It is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, 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 oh. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We need miracles. Miracles everywhere.
is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough hallelujah pastor jakes began to speak about finances we're going to pray for that and for other issues are you ready to receive for your loved ones lift up your hands it does wonders in our midst i started seeing this since tuesday I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night, I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. 
I pour forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, those of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus. I release it to your life. I release it to your life. Where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you. May God step in for you. May God step in for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now. 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 For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever course needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others. But when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever mountain 
we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, aparekata, mazote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say kabalata kabalata she. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home. I curse it to his root in the name of Jesus. I curse it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you, something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute. And pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are, and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed. Lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it, we cause it, we cause it, we cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us hear me there are many of you where you are now you have the gift you have the skill you just need those who need what you have you have it you just need somebody hear me the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah many of you after this meeting i tell you on that god will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life wherever they are except God is not God in this place. I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost I call them into your life. Receive their ministry. Receive your ministry. Receive your ministry. Yes, 
destiny help us wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death 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 lift your hands for you and your loved ones hear me the Bible says with long life it didn't say will I give you it said will I satisfy you you are supposed to be satisfied with it hallelujah and no devil should cut short your life I want to pray for you now every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer? He said, You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. That means something lifted it down. So that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. I pray for you. Whatever has put your head down, so that nobody will bless you this night. According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my protocol, arise, hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you anything that touches your hand fails no matter what it is from tonight that your comes to an end in the name of jesus that your comes to an end in the name of jesus that your comes to an end in the name of jesus hallelujah now i want to pray against habits look at me there are people dying of all kinds of habits from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things are you getting what i'm saying this is what gives satan access into the lives of many people doesn't matter how they pray for you doesn't matter how they they deliver you you will find yourself paul said that the things that i want to do I do not find myself doing them he said and the things that i don't want to do that's what i find myself doing it he said with my spirit i serve the lord but in my body i see another law working in my members and he said oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from this body of death i want to pray for you take this prayer very seriously because many of us after all the prayers and the deliverances we keep opening doors i want to pray for you it takes grace it's not about struggle listen say look at me if you want to use willpower to say i want to force myself not to sleep with this sister you are joking except you are not a man that god created many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in 
you see grace is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh? a baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout an amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm showing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know this guy was trusting god for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad 
are you getting what i'm saying and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you have struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life hallelujah the sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough we love miracles but this passion for God is not there we can run to God and come and make promises oh God I will do XYZ but except your heart is with God blessings will kill you are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us the day you see one million in your account with your eyes that day you will tell god wait till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away you will remember god again i want to pray for me i consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting and it's an impartation i want to release grace and fresh fire Please stand up, everybody. Let's honor this prayer request. This is why some of you came, especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry. You cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way. You will struggle for nothing. It's what will make you angry with people. And it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power. There are pastors now running helter skelter going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people know is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and say lord my prayer life is dead there is even nothing there again there are some of you your word life is dead the last time you read your bible was during koinonia last week i'm going to pray for you there will be an impartation and i'm going to release spiritual gifts Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift. This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do, it is not there. Period. I 
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people I have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today I want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for God and your Christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted jesus let a fire of impartation your people need fire they need power in their life right now at the count of three there will be a release of mighty impartations after the count of three i'd like you to shout out this goodness the power of god will move in a mighty way I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Ba ba ba, shake a la barriera. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake a ta ta ta. Prayer altars. Coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life, inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit, whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a Simba. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire, so to to kaba, rekete ne kaba, ba proto so kaba la 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 la. Let the gift of prophecy, I command prophetic fountains at the count of three, be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take it, Rebosha. Don't go so far. Shake it, take it. Grace for visions. Grace for prophecy. 
dimensions of spiritual experiences. Gift of tongues, receive it. Interpretation of tongues, the working of miracles, the working of miracles, the mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs, blind eyes will be open, deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, they are in entrepreneurship and are kingdom financiers. Right now, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every request that you came here with, whatever made you to leave your house, and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush. Come out. As though it's a matter of life and death, because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven. Three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more counter. We are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says, come unto me. All ye that are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. He's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes into your life, he truly brings peace. We are waiting for you quickly. Quickly, anybody. Appreciate them. They are still coming. God bless you. God bless you. This is why God brought you here. Hallelujah. Now, those of you in front, I congratulate you for coming. 
to make this glorious decision. God bless you. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I want to pray for you. Mean it from the depths of your heart. Reciting it as a poem does not make you born again. But from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I confess my sins. I ask you to help me tonight. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. Forward ever. Backward never. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Function through me. Make me an ambassador of the kingdom. I denounce sin and Satan. Whatever is not of God cannot thrive in my life again. I am a true Christian. I am a child of God. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your power. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I pray that their experience will last in the name of Jesus. Receive these ones and make them mighty men. Secure their eternal destiny in Christ. And I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, I want you to follow the ushers. They will have your details and will follow you up tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Please listen. Tomorrow by 5 o'clock, we would like to see you at chapel, just close to the bookstand, chapel, ABU. Please try to come around. Hallelujah. Those who invited them, encourage them so that they can come. We pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, and we follow you up. May God bless you. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you